My name is Alden Clinch and I'm studying environmental science at Curtin University. I started a family quite early, but unfortunately as a young man, I found myself in trouble with the law a few times. So my most recent time in prison was 2020 and I was released in 2021. Uh, but during my time in prison, I enrolled in the Indigenous Tertiary Enabling course through the Centre for Aboriginal Studies at Curtin University. My name's Narelle Guest. I am an ITAS tutor in the ITEC program, as well as a unit coordinator. So the ITEC course is the Indigenous Tertiary Enabling course run by the Centre for Aboriginal Studies at Curtin for First Nations Australians. It gives the equivalent of a 78 hour on completion, which means there are many courses within Curtin and other universities that can be enrolled in. I've always wanted to go to university. I've always had a natural wonder about how the world works. So my field of study that I'm enrolled in now is environmental science. So I studied the iTech program for eight months in prison. And then working with Len and the Curtin Ahead team, I was able to successfully apply for parole and finish the final two months of the program on campus. My experience as an ITAS tutor has been life-changing for me and my family. Um, I have learnt so much from the students at the same time as being a teacher. After hearing stories from my mum about how passionate her students were in the prison, I really wanted to be actively involved in trying to alleviate some of the barriers that prisoners would face upon their release. I had heard about students that were going to be released without the means to continue their studies and so I wanted to support them in any means I could so I started a GoFundMe and saw secondhand items to facilitate their studies. Recently I've been invited back to prison uh, to give a presentation about the iTech program. I want to show other prisoners and my daughters as well that despite where you've been in life and what you've gone through that it's always possible to make positive changes in your life. So in my corner, I have family, friends, and even lecturers and tutors that I can turn to whenever I need to. So I really believe that having that community that you can turn to in times of hardship is necessary to thrive. My community here at university now is very supportive. I find myself around people who want to see me succeed. So when I finish my degree here as an environmental science, I'm hoping to take what I learn here and to apply that to caring for country. The part I can play in education is by helping these men start to believe in themselves, by showing that I believe in them. When someone believes in you, you start to believe in yourself. When you see a student like Eldon thrive at Curtin University right now, there is nothing more hopeful than that. He has taken the bull by the horns and that's education in action.